Hi folks, I'm Matt, and it's time for a board game review. All right, gang, today we're gonna tackle a blast from the past. It's 1975's The McDonald's Game. Let's all go to McDonald's. Let's all go to McDonald's. Doesn't that look awesome? Look, it's got a Mc McDonald's sign. You can be Ronald the Hamburglar, Mayor McCheese, or Grimace. Now, how it works is you get a menu item thing. You're going to have three of each one of these. Big Macs, cheeseburgers, cookies, hot apple pie, filet of fish, hamburgers, chocolate shakes, and french fries. You can only have a maximum of three each of these items, and you do want to keep them fully stocked for this game. Now, how it works is you're going to roll this die and move across the board like you would for any other game. Now, I know this looks simple, but this is actually a really smart, genius game created in 1975. Because look, uh, you, it says here, take one card, trade a card, take a card from a player, take three cards, whatnot. Well, let's say if I took these three cards, took three cards from this deck, and I could restock my food supply with it. Now, you start off with three, so in this case, I probably wouldn't need it. But let's say that we were playing a few times and giving out orders. Well, then maybe I need an extra cheeseburger so I can recite that one. Maybe I need an extra filet of fish. And let's pretend I have three hot apple pies, so I, don't, I can't get another one in there. Well, what do I do with this one? Do I discard it? Well, no, because on your next turn, you can cash it in and put it back into the stack under at the bottom there and get one point on your little pig point. Now, I have it here starting at one, so I would get one point there. Uh, anyway, there's one rule about this, though. If you grab the die on your turn before cashing it in, you have to trash these. These go in the trash. You get zero points for them. And it's such a fun rule because you always want to go, here you go, your turn, and see if they're not paying attention and if they touch the die. I do it at least once every game. I keep forgetting. And I catch myself, I go, oh, I touched the die, and I'll be throwing in things. There's one time I kept cut, touching the die. We kept having so much fun, I kept forgetting. And all my extra food went in the trash can instead. So here's where the game gets interesting. Uh, when you land on any of these red spots here that say, let's go to McDonald's, everyone says, let's all go to McDonald's. And then someone reads from the order card, the person who landed on the square. And they're going to say, Hey folks, I would like one cookie, two french fries, one hot apple pie, two Big Mac, and one fish filet, please. Now, when they say please, that's when you can start filling in the order. You can't fill in the order as they're reading it. You have to listen to it first, and then once they say please, go. You start filling out the order, okay? And if you think you're the first one to get it right, you'll take the marble of your color and drop it. Ah, this is so cool! And of course, other people may try to get theirs in first, and, but whoever's at the bottom, they're the ones that go first. Now, even if someone already threw theirs in first and you're still working on yours, finish your order because I've been in games where the top three have gotten something wrong because this sounds pretty easy, but they get trickier because look, you have other ones that say all these and it says, wait, double my order. I feel hungry, please. And so instead of one of each, now you got to do two of each or even harder. It says, wait. I want a Big Mac instead of one of those cheeseburgers because you see the word cheeseburgers and no Big Mac. But now you have to remember that one of them is a Big Mac and not a cheeseburger. I promise you it looks simple, but the game gets harder because you got to memorize what that order was. And they, there is no rule saying that they have to repeat it. They, have to state, they can state it once and see if you can get it. Now, the person who gets it wins all the points. Like this would be two, four, six, seven points. And so they would cash this in to the person. They would give these to the person who took the order. So the player who got the order gets these extra cards. And they can use them to fill in, you know, if they have some empty spots and they need those cards, they can use those to fill in those cards. But what that person gets is they get seven points. So they would move up an additional seven. Remember, I already got one for cashing that other card in. So now I'm going to go up seven more and go to eight. Now the first one to 25 wins the game. But... Let me tell you some other cool things about this. As you're popping through here and getting more cards, you want to get those cards and restock because if someone reads the order and you're out of cheeseburgers and the order asks for cheeseburgers, well, then you can't get the points. Shucks. 
what happens to that person who gets all the cards and let's say, let's say I didn't need cheeseburgers, I had plenty left over from the order that you gave me that I asked for? Well, on my next turn, I can cash them in for points as long as I don't touch the die first. And there goes my die. All right, final thoughts on the McDonald's game. What did I think about it? Uh, I actually adore this game. I first discovered it from Flip, uh, from Flip the Table podcast, wonderful podcast. You got to check that out. Uh, but he was at Gen Con in the lending library where you can get all the games there, the board game library. And I was walking around just looking for a game to play, you know, see if I could jump in on a group. And there he was, this strange little man, sitting there with his hands like this, waiting for someone to come to his table. And he had that McDonald's game out. And I just kind of looked at it, I was like, what is that? And he went, you're interested, right? You want to play? And I went, heck yes, I do. I'll be honest. That night was one of the best nights at Gen Con. I freaking love that game. How ingenious a game. It's very simple, but incredibly fun. And they thought about this in 1975. Folks, this is back when really the only games were roll the dice, move, move around, and that's it. Or spin the, spin the wheel and go to that color. They were really dumbed down games. I want to know who put this game together because they're a freaking genius. Uh, it, McDonald's numbers are down right now. Their shares are down. Their profits down. They need to put this game back into production because I can think of a billion expansions. Honestly, I have been. What would the next expansion be? Well, we'd add another tray on top of that and add even more ingredients like maybe the McRib, the Shamrock Shake, the Aloha Burger. Oh yeah, I'm going old school here. Like the McDLT, uh, McNuggets, a Happy Meal, maybe a Vanilla Shake, right? Just kind of bring in some old school, keep it kind of old school items. The reason I want the Shamrock Shake, the McRib, and the Aloha Burger is because then they could create something where you have seasons. And if that item is in season, meaning if it's October through December, it'd be the McRib, or February, March, and April for a Shamrock Shake, or even maybe June, July, and August for an Aloha Burger. And if they don't order during that thing, maybe you have like a little extra tip card that kind of every turn it moves through the months of the year. And so if it's on that month, you can order it. If you don't have it and they ask for it, you say, I'm sorry, that's not in season. Give them the rest of the cards. I mean, my mind's exploding here. You can also add a fifth player to the game, start them off in one of the middle of the boards and call it the Fry Guys, right? We got to have the Fry Guys. But wait, I thought of another expansion. It's called McDonald's AM, and it has all breakfast menus. It has the old hotcakes, remember hotcakes? A hash brown, coffee, orange juice. Uh, let's see, oh yeah, uh, an egg bit, an egg, egg sausage muffin, uh, maybe egg sausage cheese or bacon, egg and cheese, whatever. I thought of like eight uh, menu items that deal in breakfast that were old school from back then that they can get. Oh, a soft drink. I'd want to get a soft drink on that maybe. Uh, and then they have morning items. And then you have a little dial that goes to morning to evening based on some of the cards, those little mini cards. They can make some of them morning cards, some evening cards, and that's what switches it back and forth. And so if they order anything for breakfast in the a.m., you can serve them. But if it's p.m., you can say, sorry, we don't have that. It makes the game even more complex. And wait, another character? Because you can put six characters on that board, starting them all in the let's all go to McDonald's uh, square. The character would be early bird, right? The original mascot for breakfast. I'm serious. This game, I it just starts just blowing out my mind about how many expansions you can do. I don't even know why. It's the McDonald's game. I hardly eat at McDonald's. Oh, by the way, the person who ate last at McDonald's gets to go first. I love it. I love it. I actually want to go to McDonald's after playing this game. What? McDonald's, bring this game back into production. It is so much stinking fun. Look at my face. I really love this game and all my friends love it too. It's a children's game from 1975. That's BM, folks, before Matt. And it is brilliant. Now, if you want to find it online, you can get it on eBay. Uh, last I checked, it was running about 40 bucks, maybe 50 with shipping. Is it worth it? 
Yeah, <laughs> it's a super fun game. Now, it's not a you know, highly intelligent game. Definitely fun for kids, but even fun for adults too. Uh, some of you adults who like to do the drinking game, uh, you may have a little bit of difficulty after a while, but I tell you what, you're going to have loads of fun. And that's what gaming is all about, isn't it? All right, gamers, that's it for now. Until next time, game on!